Although becoming a favorite at the court of Louis XIV in France, Mary was soon to clash with the French king's daughter-in-law, Marie Anne. As Mary was recognized as the Queen of England by the French, this led to her outranking Maria Anne. This led to Maria Anne refusing to have anything to do with Mary. Mary's rank at the French court would soon rise to the highest ranked female at Versailles. This is due to Louis XIV having a secret wife, Maria Anne's demise 1690 and there being no female descendants from the king's daughter-in-law in the form of a Dauphine. This would last until 1711 when the next Dauphine was born. During this time, Mary would give birth to one final child to James, a daughter called Louise Mary who was born in 1692. James was excluded from life in the French court, this led to him leading an expedition financed by Mary to Ireland in March 1689. His effort to regain the throne through the support of Irish Catholics and Jacobites rebels from Scotland would lead to his defeat by his son, William of Orange, at the Battle of the Boyne in 1690. Distraught at the rout at the Battle of Boyne, Mary found happiness when he brother the Duke of Modena married Margarita Maria Farnese of Parma in 1691. This happiness would be short-lived though when the Duke of Modena passed away without an heir in 1695. The left only one sole heir to the Duke of Modena, Mary's uncle, Cardinal Duke Rinaldo. Mary's relationship with her uncle soon soured though. First the Duke would refuse to pay her £15,000 from her dowry leave her in debt. The Duke though would finally pay this dowry in 1700. Then the Duke would align himself with Leopold I, the Holy Roman Emperor who was an enemy of both Louis XIV and her husband, James. The start of the 18th century would bring tragedy for Mary. Whilst at Mass in March 1701, her husband would suffer a stroke whilst at the Chateau de saint germain en laye Despite receiving medical care from the personal physician of Louis XIV, James would suffer from a seizure and passed away on 16 September 1701. Mary would remain dressed in mourning for the remainder of her life. Louis XIV would declare James and Mary's son. James Francis Edward as King James III and VII of England, Ireland, and Scotland. Mary would be appointed as James Francis Edward's regent until he reached his 18th birthday. Mary, first act was to lay out her son's claim to the English throne. The nobles of Scotland would send Lord Belhaven to France to meet with Mary to urge her to convert her son's religion to Protestantism in order that his claim to the throne would be strengthened on the death of William of Orange. Mary's mind could not be changed and compromised was reached that if James Francis Edward became king he would limit the number of Catholic priests in England and not tamper with the Church of England, in return the Scottish nobles would back her son's claim. When William of Orange passed away in March 1702, the Scottish lords requested that James Francis Edward to travel to Scotland where an army would be raised to capture the English throne and stop the Hanoverian claims. Mary though refused her son to travel to Scotland and in turn ending her son's claim to the throne. Her regency would end over her son when he reached the age of 16. Her husband's last surviving daughter, Anne, would inherit the English throne. The pressure that had been forced upon her made Mary to seek respite with the nuns at the convent of the Visitations, Shylot, near Paris where she would visit every summer. In 1711, Mary would find out her son, would lose the protection of the French court and was forced to leave the country when Louis XIV signed the Treaty of Utrecht. The following year, in 1712, her daughter, Louise Mary would die of smallpox. Deprived of a family and a life under the protection of the French court, 
Mary would live out the remainder of her life in poverty, unable to travel between Chilot and Saint-Germain. Queen Mary would pass away on 7 May 1718 from cancer. She would be buried in the nunnery at Chilot.